Hello, this is K1 from MBT. Welcome back to the series of CFD simulation of ECM lithium ion battery. In part two, we're going to create a geometry that we need to simulate the lithium ion battery in ANSYS software. As you can see on the left side, we have the two dimensional view of the single cell battery. It consists of a negative tap, a positive tap, and an active zone, which is the electrode. This picture is taken from the scientific paper modeling the dependence of the discharge behavior of a lithium ion battery on the environmental temperature from Kim. After completing the sketch and creating the geometry, we will have a three dimensional model of the single cell battery with two millimeter thickness in ANSYS software. So let's go to the ANSYS software and create this geometry. So now here we are in the ANSYS software. We're going to use the Fluent Solver to simulate the single cell lithium ion battery. So we drag and drop the fluid flow Fluent to the project schematic. We're going to simulate a 14.6 amp hour lithium ion battery. So we rename the project as this. And in order to create the geometry, we use the Design Modeler module. So we select and open this module. In this module, we need to create three different parts. The negative tab, the positive tab, and the active zone, which was the electrode. But before doing any geometry or sketch, we need to make sure that we change the units of length to millimeter. Now we can see the millimeter sign here. And now we can go for the sketch and the geometries. So we use the XY plane as the base plane for our sketch. We create a new sketch, name it as active zone for the first part. In this sketch, from the sketching tab, we create a rectangle like this. And now we edit the dimensions. So this one should be 72.5. And this one again, 72.5. And this one would be 192. So this is the sketch for the active zone. Now we can create the 3D model using the modeling tab and create and extrude. Make sure that the active zone is selected as the geometry. For the active zone, remember that we use the add material operation. And for the thickness, we use 2 millimeter and create. So now we have the 3D model for the active zone. Now we can go for the next part, which could be the positive tab. So we need a new sketch. We rename it as tab underline P. And in this sketch, we create another rectangle. And edit the dimensions. This one would be 45. This one would be 17.5. And this one would be 45. So this is for the positive tab. We go to the modeling and create and extrude. Be sure to 
select the tab underline P for the geometry and remember that we use the add frozen operation for the positive tab and also the negative tab. We use the same thickness and we create the geometry. So this is the positive tab which should be in contact with the active zone in order to have an accurate simulation. Now we repeat this for the negative tab we rename this sketch as tab underline N we go to the sketch have another rectangle edit the dimensions this would be 17.5 this would be 45 and this would be again 45 so the sketch for the negative tab is also ready now we're ready to create an extrude Make sure that the tab N is selected as the geometry don't forget to use the add frozen for the tab and the same thickness so generate and finally the negative tab is also ready so now as you can see we have three parts the active zone which is created using the add material operation and two tabs which are created using the add frozen operation so now we can go on with the mesh generation and getting ready for the simulation see you in the next session